Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Most of us who live in cities would have seen these trucks on the road. We see these trucks more often in the summer season. These are called bore well trucks. These trucks have powerful drills which are used to dig deep holes in the ground. This allows us to tap into the groundwater which lies above the bedrock. But this is hundreds of feet below the surface of earth. So how do we bring them up to the surface? Well, this is done with a device called a water pump. In this video, we'll be talking about a very specific type of pump called the centrifugal pump. A centrifugal pump uses centrifugal force to generate a pressure difference. This is then used to move liquids from one place to another. The centrifugal force that is required to move the liquids is generated by a component called an impeller. The impeller consists of radial vanes which extend into the impeller body. The impeller is connected to an external driving mechanism by means of a shaft. This shaft is driven by an electric motor. In some rare cases, it is driven by a combustion engine. When the impeller rotates, the centrifugal force pushes the fluid outwards and into the casing of the impeller. This creates a low pressure at the suction part of the impeller. This low pressure is used to suck more water into the pump. As the water hits the walls of the casing, the kinetic energy of the water particles is converted into potential energy. This is what drives the water out of the pump casing. The casing of the impeller is designed in the manner of increasing area along the direction of flow. This type of casing design is called a volute and this is the most common design. There are three different types of impellers that are commercially available. They are the open type impeller, the semi-open impellers, and the closed type impellers. The impeller type is chosen based on the liquid. If the working liquid is cloggy and has a lot of sediments in it, an open type impeller is used. If the working fluid is clean with no impurities in it, a closed type impeller is used. If a closed type impeller is used in murky water, the impurities in the water can clog the impeller and prevent it from functioning properly. However, open type impellers are inefficient when compared to closed type impellers. Majority of the domestic motors use a centrifugal pump with closed type impeller. Even though there are many types of pumps like gear pump, lobe pump, diaphragm pump, crew pump, etc., the centrifugal pump is the most commonly used type of water pump. The main reason behind this is ease of manufacturing of these pumps. These pumps are also energy efficient and lightweight when compared to other types of water pumps. The output of these pumps is also steady and consistent. They are also very easy to maintain and repair. But it is not without disadvantages. The biggest disadvantage of a centrifugal pump is cavitation. When the pressure at the suction side of the pump goes below the vapor pressure of the working liquid, cavitation will occur. Due to cavitation, small bubbles tend to form at the suction pipe of the impeller. When these collapse, they release a shock wave which damages the impeller and drastically reduces its lifespan. Another disadvantage of the centrifugal pumps is priming. Priming in centrifugal pumps is required when the elevation of the pump is more than the elevation of the liquid. The impeller is not able to generate sufficient suction pressure to lift the water against gravity from its resting surface. This is because a centrifugal pump works by pushing the water through centrifugal force instead of sucking it. Because of this, the impeller needs to be primed. This is normally done by filling the casing and the pipes of the pump with the working liquid. An external priming port is provided to do this. Well, that's it for this video guys. Hope you understood how centrifugal pumps work. We'll meet again in the next one. Until then, bye.